Hey guys, what's going on? It's iTouch Stuff here that's spelled with a zero, and today I'll be showing you guys how to get version 2.85 beta for Go Launcher EX. Now, for those of you who don't already have Go Launcher EX, you can go ahead and download it from the Google Play Store, but if you want the newest version, which I'll be showing you how to get, this is irrelevant. I'll just show you real quick that the version of the Google Play Store is version uh, 1. Point, or 2.83. Um, if we go back to Go Launcher and we head down to the description, and it should say version 2.83 if you guys can read that. Uh, so I'll be showing you how to get the beta for version 2.85, which brings some pretty nice changes, including uh, a change in the preview screen like this, and a change in the scrolling of the home screen, which you can see right now is a little buggy. Uh, I do have it set to the cylinder mode, and uh, it lags a little bit, but hopefully that'll be fixed with this update. So first thing you need to do, you don't need to be rooted, you need to go to your settings though. Once in settings, you need to go to applications, and at the top where it says unknown sources, if I'll zoom in for you guys, it says, you want to check that right there, allow installation of new non-market applications. Uh, once that is checked, we are good to go, and we'll proceed from here. You want to go ahead, open up your internet browser, in this case mine is Dolphin Browser HD. Uh, here I'm on a Nook Color, it is rooted, you don't have to be, uh, and this works on all Android devices. So, uh, look down below in the description for a link to where you can download version 2.85 beta, uh, and just enter that in on your tablet or phone or whatnot. Uh, and here we can just see a brief description of what's new. So it, here it says change the interface and operation of preview screen. So it says long press to delete screen. So now we can hold down and then drag them up to the garbage bin like we would an application to delete screens. And there is some more stuff with that. The second new addition is the addition of heap size option in advanced settings. Heap size is basically just how much memory each application can use. So if you want to define find that for each application you now can and what's improved here in version 2.85 beta is a smoother experience when sliding screens now I don't know if it's just personal preference but that's a big plus for me I hate it when I swipe the screen and it bugs out or it's a little laggy so if you want to download it please click here like it says it'll open up a new tab uh, and if you don't have Crystal Downloader, which I do, uh, you can download with Crystal Downloader from the Google Market. If not, it'll just download directly inside of your browser, and then you can go ahead and save it and install. So uh, once it's all downloaded, uh, in this case, again, in Crystal Downloader, it's all downloaded. If you guys want to see a video on Crystal Downloader, I will make one if you guys want me to uh, leave a comment down below in the description if you do it's a really great app uh, so you can see that it's all done if you downloaded it in your browser just scroll up from the screen and click on the file and then install but here I'm just gonna go ahead open and then open with package installer uh, and basically we just wanna install it says replace application because I already have go launcher EX installed and I'm gonna click OK and then the install button in the bottom left Alright, so it says application installed, only took a second, we can go ahead and open it up. Uh, and here, version 2.85 beta, uh, and it gives you a brief description of everything. And it also, I forgot to mention, there was another improvement of the change the show up occasion of tips. Uh, so I guess that was an improvement. And there's a fix error vertical app drawer while using effects. Uh, so that's all of that. We can swipe, and it brings us right back to our home screen. And this definitely feels a lot quicker, a lot smoother. Uh, again, here we go. Pop something like this up. Let's just do a random effect every time. Have a try. See, so did cylinder again, then did a flip, then a move over. Oh, really cool and fun. Uh, and the second addition here that is new, we can swipe. And now if we hold down on a screen, you can see if we want to delete this screen, there is a delete button at the very top. We can drag and delete it. I'm not going to do that for the time being. We can go ahead and let it go. Uh, so that is also fixed there, or actually improved upon. Uh, and the last feature, let's use Go Launcher EX as default. The last feature, if we just go to Advanced Settings, uh, which should be here, 
advanced settings. We now have heap size description, I think it says. Yes. Uh, so what is heap size? It does say uh, we can click there, and it gives you a description of what heap size is. And we can also go ahead and set the heap size to default, recommended, or larger. I'm going to leave that alone. I don't want to mess with any of that. But if you guys want to toggle around with that, by all means, go ahead. Uh, so that is basically how to get Go Launcher version 2.85 beta. Uh, again, if you do download this, go ahead, hit up the developer on the XDA page, leave your feedback on what device you're running the beta on so he can get all the information um, on what works best and what else needs to be improved upon before 2.85 is officially released. Uh, so guys, it's been I Touch Stuff here that's spelt with a zero. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below if you want to see a video on Crystal Downloader and whatnot. I know a lot of you guys like these Nook Color videos. You asked me to make some more. Uh, so here is one. Uh, and that's it. Like, favorite, favorite, share, whatever. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.